I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. Sorry to interrupt. This isn't your concern. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell her the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her. A resistance commander named Venterev. The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech, but why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him, make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon. And his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters. Scavengers. They don't support Aya. How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara Port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. When you have a moment, we sh Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are, strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Phoneron. It's a privilege to meet you. Tell me about yourself. I'm something of a Pathfinder myself. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer. You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Cooperative. I appreciate that.
Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is... a surprise? What are their expectations? They survived the Scourge and the Cat and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. Why can't you just ask her yourself? Because. Because? Just because. Fine. Lexi, PB wants to look at Jal's scans. PB knows I can't divulge patient information. We were right about the vault on Aya, huh? What a find. And this Meridian vault might jumpstart all the others. I knew hitching my wagon to yours would pay off. So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. I thought I hated the Ket before, then we learned about Exaltation. I can't even begin to imagine how Jal feels about this. I was curious about you and Sid, being on your own from such a young age. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend it. Where was your mother in all this? Back on Palavan, I suppose. She was an awful person, all she cared about was climbing the ranks. She and my dad fought all the time. I think at the end they hated each other. When things were really tough, I thought about going back. But she wouldn't have accepted us. Whatever my dad did destroyed any chance of that. Where was home? Palavin? No, we'd already left Palavin by then. Whatever our dad was involved in meant we weren't welcome there. I hadn't even gone to boot camp yet. Sid was barely a year old. We eventually settled in a mining colony in the Minos Wasteland. Two years later, our dad was gone. How did he keep you and your sister afloat? I was barely more than a kid myself, so lots of unskilled work. Construction jobs. No one else would do the dangerous stuff, so I would, being up high, crawling under things. I could shoot a gun, so eventually I moved into smuggling. Even more dangerous, but lucrative. We were never rich, but we got to comfortable. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. At least we managed to save the Moshai. I only... Wish we could have saved more.
making up something. According to that astronomer on Aya, a satellite should be here. I'm not detecting anything. If it was here, it's gone. You mean destroyed? I mean, gone. Destruction would leave debris. We've got nothing. Let's try another nav point. on sensors. Probes launched. Satellite detected. detected. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Besides being a haven for Nexus exiles, what do we know about this place? Group of exiles called the Outcasts liberated Kadara port from the Ket. Until recently, their power was absolute. But a new gang, the Collective, has been chipping it away. Real shady bastards, led by an unknown called the Charlatan. Well, with luck, they'll be too busy shooting at each other to notice us. Probe away. Anomaly found. 